you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I'm Dave Thomas, and welcome to the show. You know, prior to the show, I was just watching a video of the classic Western Shane in my dressing room, and my favorite actor in that movie is not Alan Ladd, but the villain, Jack Palance. I mean, here he is over here. Check this face out, will you? I mean... This is him being genial Jack, Mr. Nice Guy, but I mean, he does have a very scary face, and I mean, who else could have played Jack Nicholson's boss in Batman except for maybe this guy? I mean, he's the only guy who might be able to top Jack in the scary division. Anyway, I'm glad he's back in the limelight. Remember his television show, Believe It or Not? He was great presenting the bizarre or freaky items, but when it came to the lighter items, Jack's scary delivery was way over the top, like... The tiny dick dick antelope of Kenya, smallest member of the horse family, can be held in the palm of your hands, believe it or not. Cut! They're not moving, they're not moving. Well, you killed them, Jack. You, you just don't know your own strength. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I really am. Of course, the hardest thing to believe on the whole show was that Jack Palance was the host. Believe it or not. <laughs> is that unusual delivery or is that unusual delivery? Jack is back, though, and I'm glad. And sooner or later, somebody is going to put Jack in his own primetime network sitcom. Sorry I'm late, honey. Gee, Jack, it's our anniversary. I'm sorry, but a Mr. Whiteside said we had to stay late to finish up that big Beasley account. When are you going to stop <gasps> letting him push you around that way? <sighs> Jack? Oh, sorry, honey. Why don't you open the champagne and I'll go get the Chateau Briand? All right. Oh. 87, a good year. Jack, whoever it is, send them away. This is our night to be alone. All right, honey. Oh, Mr. Whiteside. Do me a favor, will you, Pearson? The wife and I got a last-minute invitation to the opera, and we can't find a babysitter. So we need you to take care of little Foster here. I won't stay with him. He looks like a monster. <laughs> now, 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 Foster. <laughs> Pearson can't help the way he looks. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Whiteside... Honey, who was that? Uh, no one, honey. Uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, no one at all. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> I forgot the sour cream. Help me! What? Uh, I said, uh, uh, help me! <laughs> it's not... Uh, oh, Jack, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't you cut the meat and I'll get the cottage cheese? All right, dear. Uh, I'll get it, honey. Uh, 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 Sir, would you mind? No. No! 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 It's not what you think. Help me! Listen. I told you to keep quiet. Please, Mr. Pearson, don't stab me! What? Oh, don't be silly. Honey, who is it? Who are you, buddy? Jack, I want you to meet Mr. Forrest. He's our new dry cleaner. Oh, very pleased to meet you. We're just having our anniversary dinner. That's right. It's nice. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll just hang these up in the closet. No! No! How lovely you look this evening. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Mr. Whiteside talked you into babysitting again. Uh, I could explain. Oh, Jack, you're such a pushover. But I guess that's what I love about you, you big lug. Oh, baby, you're the best. <laughs> oh. 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 
I think I hugged her too hard this again. This guy is dangerous. Back, I think.